Hey filmmaker Shongli here. In this video we're going to show you how to add motion blur to certain animations. So mainly uh, a lot of you guys probably start starting up the easiest way to do a lot of movement and motion is using the standard motion that is here. However, that's the first thing you should learn not to use. Even though it's already there and it's quite easy to access. But the better option is to go to effects and type in transform. So at distort there is this transform and it basically does the same thing as motion. However it has like two options or several options more. It has the skew options however rarely use that. But the main thing is this shutter angle. To enable it first, we have to turn this off. It actually says use composition shutter angle, but it never really does anything then uh, block you from using your own shutter angle. And then we add here to 180 of shutter angle, which is mostly for cinematic purpose or most people find that the best settings. However, if you want more blur, you can uh, increase the number. If you want less, you can lower the number. But 180 is a good measurement to use. So here we have a nice simple image. And let's just do a simple transition from one image to the other. So let's make it from 10. And we change the positioning so actually I want it to be all the way around this one moves in and transform 180 and and here Actually, one before we put the position here and this back and move it all the way out. And if you have noticed it, it's add motion blur to it. It's not the cleanest motion blur, but it is a motion blur, so it's a little bit. Um, yeah, it's not extreme of a smooth look, but it still does the job pretty well. And especially instead of doing a transition like this, uh, let's add a little bit of a bezier to make it a smoother, a little bit smoother. this so that is like really nice and yeah you can also do other kinds of effects instead of using this we can also do a rotation so here we have the rotation and opacity and we so actually lessen the opacity to zero and here add like a 180 of a rotation. It's a little bit funky, but um As you can see it adds a very nice distinct uh, motion blur. It also actually works with we instead of using rotation we use the scale. So here we have 100% scale. I also don't forget to 
set the uniform scale. Here we have 100 and we, the maximum on here, I don't know why it's 300. So the maximum scale you can set is 300. It's not as fast as I want it to be, but let's add a Bezier, which makes that nicer. So also this. So you can see also for zooming in and out it can add a motion blur and I have to say actually the zooming in and out and rotational motion blur is actually really good however left and right it seems to always not make it look that special. So that is how to add motion blur to different kind of movement. So with this uh, transform effect, you can actually make much more interesting uh, yeah, transitions or actually movements. Uh, mainly also on titles, you can make them coming in much, uh, yeah, with much more interesting movements and blur added instead of being very choppy. So that was mainly it. If you want to see more upcoming videos, please subscribe. If you have any questions or want to see any different tutorials, please comment uh, below and I'll see you the next time. Bye bye.